Hey guys, it's Migs with X-Dynamics and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys why you need ND filters when you're flying your Evolve 2. There are plenty of filter brands out there, but for this video, we're gonna be using the Polar Pro ND filters to show you how beneficial it is to have ND filters on your drone footage. So for the people who don't know what ND filters are or neutral density filters, the simple explanation is ND filters are sunglasses to block your camera lens from the sun. As we mentioned in previous videos, in order to get cinematic footage, it's best to keep the shutter speed at double frame rate or what we call the 180 degree rule of shutter. What that means is if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you wanna keep your shutter speed at 1 50th. Most drones in the market have a fixed aperture, but with the Evolve 2, you're able to control the aperture settings. Although cranking the aperture to a higher setting will help compensate for the overexposure, generally we wanna avoid that. It takes away the creativity of adding depth of field to your shots at low apertures. So let's take a look at a few shots. So we can show you an ND32 on a 150 at shutter speed. And here's the same shot with the ND filter off. You can see that the sky is blown out and overexposed. Another way to compensate for that overexposure is to crank your shutter speed combined with cranking your aperture to a higher setting. Although that might seem appealing to the eye on the ground station, it loses the motion blur on your video, so it looks very jarring. So you might be wondering what ND filters to use and when to use them. There's a range of different ND filters starting from ND4 all the way up to ND10,000. These numbers are just the stops of light that the filter blocks when you put it in front of your camera. For example, the ND8 is three stops of light. The ND16 is four stops of light. The ND64 is six stops of light. And the ND1000 is 10 stops of light. The ND4 to 64 is what you would be using and be switching back and forth in your day-to-day -day shoots depending on how bright the light is. And the ND1000 and ND10,000 are for what we call long exposure shots. This is a creative photo shot where you open up the shutter speed to a longer setting, which lets in more light. These dark ND filters will help compensate for when you're letting in more light when your shutter speed is at, let's say, five to 10 seconds. Some sets of filters you might come across has an etching that says PL, like an ND8 PL, ND16 PL, etc. You will notice on these filters that you can rotate the front end of these filters. This is to increase or decrease the polarization effect. What that does is it reduces glare and gives you a better looking sky. This comes in handy when you're shooting windows or water. There are plenty of filters out there on the market, so do your research when you're purchasing one. Some companies are better than the others and offer no color cast. Some add a blue or yellow tint. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a few things about ND filters. It's Migs with X-Dynamics, and I'll see you guys on the next one.